Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm going to show you how we built this very cool table saw sled. So stick around. All right, so maybe you're in the same boat as me. I wanted to build a new table saw sled for my table saw here. And um, the thing I've seen in all these table saw sleds that I see online, uh, the big ones are really big and heavy and just really bulky. And the little ones are small and they can only handle so much stuff, right? So what I wanted to do was make one that was big but not heavy. And that way I can put it on, use it, and do what I need to do, and then take it off and put it away and it's out of my way. And that way it's easy to use. So I got to thinking, what can I do to make my idea come true? So the first step was to cut some uh, plywood down to size using this uh, circular saw with a attachment that allows me to cut parallel cuts. It's a half inch thick plywood here. Now I'm just laying out some lines here and I'm going to cut away some of the excess material here. And here I'm using a hole saw with the drill press to drill a whole bunch of holes into the table and the idea is to lighten it as much as possible. Here I'm laying out uh, some parts that are going to be attached to the table. And now I'm cutting them out using the drill press and the bandsaw. All right, so you can see the pieces that I made so far, and I'm going to show you how they go together. So this one goes down here and just fits into that notch like that. And this one goes right here, same thing. So now I'm going to just use some uh, pocket screws to join these together. All right, so we have this uh, assembly here. You can kind of see what, what I got going now. Um, these pocket screws, some of them worked out, some of them didn't. Um, so this one didn't really hold, but um, that's not really going to matter because uh, you'll see in a second why it doesn't matter. Here you can see the wood assembly that I showed you in that previous shot and along with a piece of laminate material. And I'm about to join those two pieces together. I'm going to use laminate glue on both surfaces and then join those two parts. And here you can see I've already applied a layer of that contact cement to the laminate material. And now I'm working on applying it to the uh, board assembly that I made. So here you can see I'm taking the board and I'm flipping it over and placing it onto the uh, glued laminate surface. You can see I'm trying to line it up just right. And then once I got it in place, I took the roller that I got, this laminate roller, and I used that to apply pressure to it to make it bond well. And then after that, I flipped it over and, and I used the laminate roller on the back side. Next, I used my rotary cutting tool to cut away some of the excess uh, laminate material that was uh, beyond the shape of my wooden assembly. 
Uh, that way uh, it gets a little closer to the final size it's going to be. And here you can see how it looked after I was done trimming away all that excess material. And I also used my hand drill with a hole saw attachment to cut away uh, these openings that I needed to have opened up. And then I just vacuumed up all the dust that I had just created from all that cutting. And then it was time to prepare the second piece of laminate that's going to go on the uh, back side of that board assembly. So I spread that laminate cement onto the laminate material and then uh, applied a coat to the board assembly as well. And now I'm attaching that second laminate piece to the board assembly. Trying to get it lined up really well. And again, removing the excess laminate material uh, on the back side of that assembly. And now I took the assembly inside and I'm using my router table with a laminate trimming bit to clear away uh, that edge there. And uh, you can see at the end here how it turned out. And you can see a little better on this side how that trimming works. You can see how all the excess material comes off and you get this nice clean edge. And then finally I used the uh, chamfer bit in the router table to uh, just kind of break that corner. Alright, so look at what we got going so far. Looking pretty cool, huh? Kind of crazy looking. So, what we're going to do now is make some runners for it. And I've got this cherry material here that I'm going to use. And here I'm just taking that cherry material that I showed you and trimming it down uh, so that it'll fit into the grooves in my table saw. And now I'm preparing to mark the table for where the runners will be attached. So I placed some pennies in the uh, table saw's grooves and then I laid the runners on top of the pennies and then I laid the table on top of the runners line it up as best I can and then start marking uh, where the runners are located and then I flip the table over and drew some guidelines so I can see exactly where the runners are going to be attached so I need to scuff up these two areas here before I apply the epoxy because this stuff's slippery And then I applied the epoxy to the runners. And then I carefully lowered the table onto the runners. Got it lined up and pressed it down. Put some weights on it to keep it in place. And now we just give it a chance to dry. Alright, so this has had a chance to dry, so let's see how we did. Alright, looking pretty good. Put these pegs out of the way. You know what it's time to do now, right? We're going to cut through and raise that blade and get that slot cut in here. So 
I can see, I just cut through this part and I still have these outer sections that hold it together. All right, now it's time to make a fence for it. And now I'm drilling some holes using a hole saw to uh, create uh, the two ends of the hand hole. And now I'm using a router bit and then I'll be connecting those two holes. And then finally I'm using a round over bit in the router to uh, smooth over the edges of those uh, hand holes. Alright, so I was getting ready to mount this uh, fence on here and I was going to put it right here, which is right on the bottom edge of the uh, table. But then I thought, you know, if I slide it down a little bit like this, it will give me that much more room on the table to use uh, larger pieces and I still get all the support I need for the fence. So I'm going to do that. All right, so I've got the fence all set. I put that cutout over here so it'll clear this cutout over here. And I'm going to line it up like this and go ahead and mount it. So um, I'm just going to use some epoxy to attach it since this is like a plastic material. Okay, and so for your information, I did scuff this up here so that it'll accept the epoxy better. And then this is just a bare wood. So I'm going to just glue that right here. And um, in order to square it up, I'm just going to use this square here. I've seen some other new techniques that people are using. I think this square is plenty adequate to get this thing squared up. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Put some weights on it for now, over here. All right, so we're gonna leave it to dry, see how it turned out. All right, I gave the fence a chance to dry, and uh, all I need to do now is cut through here so that I've got that part done. So let's do that right now. All right, so I've got the uh, fence cut through and I'm ready to try the sled. Now I noticed one thing that I've got these splitters here. I don't know if you can see that, but when I pull this sled back, the splitters hit in that, in that hole there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those out right now so they'll give me more room for my, for my piece that I'm gonna cut. Okay, so now I can pull this all the way back here like so. All right, we're gonna try the sled now. So set this up here. All right, all right, ready? Okay, there's our piece. Let's see, I got this square here. Let's see how good that is. Yeah, that's good. That is very good. And then I'm going to try measuring it with this caliper here. So we got 6.712 at the bottom. And we got 6.683 at the top. So that's what? 23 plus 33. 33 thousandths uh, out of square. Uh, over whatever that distance is. I think that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it. Over 15 inches, so I think that's really good. All right, I'm just gonna close with just a review of all the great features of this sled. So, of course, very unique design, right? Kind of looks like a bat wing or something like that. Very sleek. This thickness is, what? The fence is three quarter inch thick. This, the table is about a half inch thick. Runners are three eighths, so what is that? Uh, inch and quarter, uh, what? Inch and five eighths. That is a thin sled, right? 
and just really easy to handle because of all those holes I put in the, in the table inside of there. That, that helped a lot. And of course, these handles here, it forces you to put your hands out here. There's no chance you would not want to put your hands down here, right? There was no reason to put your hands down here. So kind of a built-in safety feature. I really like that. came out really nice. And of course, the, of course this uh, laminate material that I put on it to, to cover those holes, it also gives you a really nice clean surface. And it, it does slide really nice. I haven't, uh, I'm going to wax those runners, but this thing, I really like how it slides. So let me know what you think. Is it cool or not? Let me know in the comments.